Hello everyone, today we are going to be doing a dissection of a mushroom. Uh, as you can see, I have the mushroom out here. I also have our cutting tool, a razor blade. <coughs> this is most likely a Caprinus species. And let's take a look at some of the external anatomy first. We're going to start to focus on page 436 of your lab manual, as well as the uh, PowerPoint that should be up on Sunday. So let's take a look here at our mushroom. We have two main basic things, cap and stalk. Now, on some species, you have uh, scales, which this species, it doesn't look like it has scales, but you do have the outer layer, which I'm teasing away, of the uh, mushroom, which you can see right here, that first little layer uh, of the cap. Now inside you have what's known as the areoli, which are the, I will take a dissection of the cap in a minute. We also have down here, well what would be down at this end, uh, the mycelial threads and the basal bulb or the vola is this here, which was this cup here, cap here, and where this would be, where it was cut and pulled out, is where you would have the uh, mycelial threads down at the bottom. This doesn't appear to have a reticula. Yes, it does. Use it. It's in there. We're going to have to take a look at it. So let's start by taking a cross section of this really big mushroom. Now, if we remember, the, the mushroom itself, this that I got at HEB, is the fruiting body of uh, the fungus. Now, I'm going to tease away some of this here, some of this outer section of the cap, so that we can see the gills. Now, here we go. This section here, this is the gill. And this is what produces the spores proper for reproduction. We're going to be taking a, um, a bit of the gill and having a look at it under the microscope. Here's a better view of the gill. It's a smaller piece. And you can see the ridges inside the gill. And actually, there's a little bit of gill here. We're going to put that off to the side. We're going to use that later. Let's take a look at the stalk. Uh, this stalk, you can tell, does not have a ring skirt. But this area here, that's the reticulum. Here's the internal section of the mushroom itself. Now this species doesn't have any uh, large sections within the cap. At least I don't think it does, but let's take a cut. Right like that, yeah. This species doesn't have any large sections within the cap, but some species do. And those are known as the uh, a tubules or a vacuole or something of that nature. Uh, you can tell, at least I can tell here, that the cap itself does have striations. It's hard to see. It's actually easier to see here. The vertical lines, those are the striations. It's terrible quality on your end. If I had a better camera, you'd probably be able to see it, or if you were in the lab, you'd be able to see it as well. Uh, it's easier for me to see it on these, on this section that I pulled off, the striations that are here. Uh, this is a rather nice mushroom. It doesn't have any rots. Rots would be large, uh, flaky sections, similar to scales on the top. This doesn't. Most edible mushrooms won't have those. Uh, I don't see any zonations in here either. Those are the horizontal lines that are within the cap itself. So let's take a look under the microscope and see if we can see ourselves some spores. And we're back over here on the microscope. We're just going to take a quick look, see if we have um, <clears throat> any spores or the like over here on our mushroom. Here's the prep I made, and there are spores here. We're going to start with this piece of gill. There is a larger piece of gill over here. We'll get to that eventually. But I want to start with the smaller section. 
that might have a better chance of actually seeing something. Uh, this is just a mount on a slide. It's nothing extreme, and we are up to 10 times. Now, what we're looking for here is we're looking for Bastidia, and we're looking for Spores. Uh, we're also looking for Sterage Mata. So let's take a look-see. And we do see Spores. Let's zoom in again, see what we get. This is now 40 times. Uh, I was afraid of that. All right. 10 times it is. Well, this doesn't get us anything. Let me put up another section. Maybe we'll find something else. So I zoomed this out, and we're on a different mount this time. And you can see the spores. But I'm looking at primarily for the Sterage Mata, the Bastidia. Uh, I'm trying to find them. And we are up to 10 times. A lot of spores. These are all spores that are in here, which is nice to see. Yeah, there's a bunch of fastidious spores here. Let's see if I can zoom in. Maybe we'll get something better. Yeah, yeah that's what I was expecting. All right, I'm going to try one more mount, and we'll see what happens there. We are back. This time I pulled up a uh, Coprinus prepared slide. And we're going to see if we can take a look at it here. Now, this should be able to show uh, everything we're looking for. And this is the slide right here. So let's zoom in a bit, shall we? All right, some nice threads. Now this is a Caprinus cross section. We are gonna make our way right up into here. This would be the gill section. So we are back, and this time we definitely have what we're looking for. So if we take a look here, what we're looking at here, we have the spores. This is a forming spore right here. And then you have the bestidia, or the basal end, the back end of the entire structure, which is this section right down here. And then this goes into the cap itself. This is a longitudinal section. And then in between the two, you have what is known as the steryngemia. No, the steryngema. There we go. I'm bad at names sometimes. So you have up here at the top your spores, this lantern looking section, this sort of cupule. That is the steryngema. And then at the base of that is the bestidia. And this is again in the gill section of the cup. 
Now we're also taking a look at this. This is uh, another Piezia, um, but this is instead is cup fungus. This is a uh, And we're gonna look at something similar here. We're just gonna poke around a bit since these are prepared slides and we can do this. Uh, let's take a look right here. Here we go. Notice how this time, the similar structure is right here at the top. Now let's peer around a bit. Yeah, here we go. We're gonna look right here. You can see these are the basidia spores. And this has a very long, let's zoom in, zoom in, there we go. See the spores right here. And this has a, a very long, um, A very long steringemia. That'd be this down here. And then oh, that'd actually be it because these are the actual spores themselves with the bestidia down here at the bottom <clears throat> and the entire structure being the bestidia four. 